If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, we're still in the groove and I do not want to postpone. Therefore, we continue with the Army of Satan series. Today it is part 12, the music industry. Before we start the video, as always guys, if you enjoy the content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Please check them out. With no further ado, let's have a look. <laughs> And of the people are those who buy the amusement of speech to mislead others from the way of Allah without knowledge. Uh, that could apply to music. But to anything truly, this could apply to podcasting, to social media in general as well. Those will have a humiliating punishment. And when our verses are recited to them, they turn away arrogant as if they had not heard them. As if there was in their ears deafness. So warn them of the painful punishment. Everybody likes music. Hey, Everybody hey, enjoys hey, music. Everybody hey. enjoys singing and dancing and being cheerful. So why would someone say it's haram? It's very simple. To know the ruling on, over something, we have to go back to the Quran and Muslim. We are Muslims. We have to go back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. Do we get our religion from out of the Quran and Sunnah? No. If you go to the Sunnah, no. the most authentic book for Muslims, any Muslim Sunni, you would ask him, you would say Sahih al-Bukhari. This is the most authentic book on earth after the Quran. And in Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that there will be people of my ummah making haram things halal. And they would make uh, uh, adultery, fornication. They would make silk. They would make consuming intoxicants, khamr. And music instruments halal. Four things. The Prophet ﷺ told us that there will come people who would make these haram things halal. So the Prophet is the one who told us that music is haram. And the evidence behind it is overwhelming. There is no scholar on earth, Muslim scholar, that allows you to listen to Beyonce and Madonna and Michael Jackson and those. That is completely out because yeah, number one, sense. it's dirty, it's filthy. For people that watch me for the very first time, I come from an Orthodox Christian background before I reverted to Islam. And in Orthodox Christianity, you don't have such a ruling where all music is haram. However, the consensus here is that music that takes you away from God, that leads you into sin, is haram. But music that does not do that would be still permissible in orthodox christianity these are horrible terrible they encourage you to move your body and to shake your thing as they say <laughs> may allah forgive us really yeah, yeah. they I move do. you move your body you are sexually hyped up so sure. it's a dirty industry ask those who are in it it's filthy when you hear about music you hear about how to attract the opposite sex and yeah, that's it's all it's about, about love and all about you know your emotions and so at yeah. home you're not happy when you go to work you see someone you're working with and you're busy thinking oh the music fits exactly here <laughs> and so on. Things are happening. People are for tampering sure, with sure. our minds. I mean, even if you look at nightclubs, what's the whole purpose behind it? They put on music that makes people sexualized and then they attract each other and they end up in bed. The power that That's music what has on humans' mind has yeah. been well documented for thousands of years. For sure. Hundreds of scientific studies have proven that music can have a profound effect on human emotions, sensory perceptions and behavior. In 1839, Heinrich Wilhelm Dorf made a fascinating audio discovery when he uncovered this strange phenomenon of binaural beats, which are special are frequencies within music that are. Our friends that are into this stuff, they're not religious but spiritual and they're listening to those binaural beats. Affect how to brain alter waves their brain behave chemistry. and consequently our mood. A more recent study in 2012 by psychologist Annette Shermer 
uncovered that our perception of the external world can be directly affected by musical rhythm because our brain waves become rate. in sync with auditory beats. What's most intriguing about this study is that Shermer realized that when people move in synchrony, they are more likely to perceive the world in synchrony. This means that our Makes mental sense. process can be altered simply by using music to manipulate brainwave oscillations. When the brainwave oscillations are manipulated by music, your brain will become in sync with the music and this is how your body is getting controlled. You start spontaneous movements. Yeah, absolutely. You move to the beat. That's correct. And they have you move in a certain way they deem correct. As he said, you start shaking, you become sexualized. Very, very dangerous, man. And your brain becomes ready to accept all of those pre-designed messages. The beats and the notes are so powerful that you quickly memorize the whole lyrics. Those lyrics and messages affect your behavior. Yes. I have to say to this that back in the day when I was a teenager, I was listening to German rap music and that rap music transformed me as a teenager into a degenerate. I did everything those rappers told me. I started taking drugs, I started fornicating, became violent. All of those things that those rappers rapped about, I became. That's how it goes. It's very powerful. If the beats are stronger, it will even cause the music touches in your brain cells. the limbic system or the emotional system of our brain, which yeah. actually, though slower than other parts, can overwhelm all of the other parts. Um, uh, think about how we lose our mind when we fall in love, um, and we literally do because of the power of, of the emotion. Um, that being said, the music system is has been very unresponsive even to industry applied ratings. All that they had been willing to do was to put parental advisory on the outside of CDs. They wouldn't. Yeah, how does this matter? Parental advisory. My parents came from the Balkan. They don't speak English. They don't even understand what that means. They don't understand the lyrics either. I was simply listening to those raps and they had an imprint on my young mind. Lyrics in a visible place. Um, this is complicated by the fact that the Federal Communication Commission has strict limits on what can be broadcast over the air. And historically, the way popular music has been sold is through airplay. We can't okay. expect a system to be put together that will perfectly protect us. Um, we need to protect ourselves. We need to be aware that these media change us and affect us. Um, and we need to actively understand what? Yeah, everything is progressive in the society and people nowadays believe that that is a good thing. But of course it is not. If you look at music and how it progressed over the years, now we reached a point where women openly sing about their genitals. That's really what it is. Those are world hits. Women talking about their genitals and talking about their sexual practices. If you look into those lyrics aside from the sexualization, you will find passages such as I don't cook, I don't clean, but still I got that ring. What does that show you? What kind of imprint does that leave on people? What kind of imprint does that leave on young girls? Young girls are looking up to those celebrities, to those stars, and they see them being successful, being rich. And now you don't have to cook, you don't have to clean, and still you will get that ring if you are a hoe. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.